Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pocket gift card card for Father's Day. We're going to be using these sets from the Hedgehog Hollow. This is from the June 2018 subscription box, and we'll be using all of these sets for the sentiments and for the die cuts. Now this one has a lot of sentiments you can choose from, and I'll show you which ones I chose today. We're also going to be using this brand new embossing powder from Nuvo, and it's called Copper Blush. And I have to say that I think it's probably now one of my favorite new colors of embossing powders. So let's get started. So first I'm going to go ahead and cut apart these dies. I want to use that pocket die especially for the pocket gift card. So I cut that apart. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the pocket stitching stamp. So this is what we're going to be doing. It will put a gift card. See how it fits perfectly inside there? We'll put a gift card inside the pocket, and I'm going to use this paper that's also included in the kit as a handkerchief. So I'm using my Misty here to stamp out the pocket. I will be using Distress Oxide ink. And I don't recommend using regular Distress Ink for stamping, but the Distress Oxide Ink seems to work really great. So this is the color I'm using in the Distress Oxide. It's called Iced Spruce, and it still looks like a white shirt, but it shows that stitching detail. It's kind of like when you color a white image with your Copics, but you use gray ink. You know what I mean, right? So anyway, I stamped that with the iced spruce, and now I'm going to go ahead and take it to my die cutting machine and cut out both that large dad die cut and also the pocket. And here I cut out the handkerchief. Look how cute that's going to look. Don't worry about it hanging off the edge. We're going to fix that a little bit later. And now for a little embossing magic, I'm going to use that copper blush to make this dad die cut really stand out. I'm using a little piece of post-it tape here to push it into that Nouveau Clear Mark ink, and it's a clear sticky ink, which will allow the embossing powder to stick onto this die cut. So here I'm just pouring over the embossing powder, and I'll use my tweezers to pick that up. Now, I should have put that extra embossing powder back into the jar before I use my heat tool to set that. But don't worry, we're going to do this one more time. Second time's a charm, right? I'll push it back into that clear sticky ink, add some more embossing powder, and this time I'll put it away in the jar before I heat set it. There you go. And I think I did this three times. When you do it at least three times, it creates kind of a dimensional image, and it looks like a metallic decoration for your card. It really is quite striking in real life. So here I am doing it the third time. I'll just skip right over that and you can see that it is a beautiful shade. At the end you'll be able to see it a little better in the picture. And I just chose an image here. And then I decided I'd like to have that just a little more dimensional. So I die cut the dad die cut out of some chipboard which is kind of thick chipboard and here I'm using the Nuvo glue pen, the medium glue pen, to attach the embossed dad to the chipboard dad die cut. And it did work pretty well as soon as I could get that uh, glue working. It's a brand new item for me to try out. But I did get it working and here you go and I decided to just go ahead and put a little acrylic block to help that to stick together. I decided on the sentiment that says Happy Father's Day and it fits right nicely in between the two D's of this die cut. I'm going to use my Misty to place it exactly where it needs to be and I'll stamp it a couple times with my favorite black ink. VersaFine Onyx Black is a nice clear crisp ink. However it is a pigment ink so it takes a little bit longer to dry so I let that dry for a few minutes before I even adhered anything to it. So I set that aside here. To add a little pizzazz, I'm taking my Martha Stewart scoreboard here, and I'm just going to score a few lines to kind of make it look 
you know, like a tuxedo. You know how they have those little extra lines there? So I just added those and then I took a regular hole punch and I punched out that same paper to make buttons on this card. So I'm just choosing the ones that match the handkerchief and I'm gonna add them there and then I will attach them with some Nuvo clear drying craft glue. But first I'm gonna take that glue marker and I will attach the handkerchief to the pocket. So just across the top, a little line across the back of the pocket, add the handkerchief right where you want it to be and then you can trim off that extra sticking out of the side. Look how cute that looks. So I attach the buttons and I'm gonna go ahead and use that same liquid glue to attach the white shirt to a black card stock that also came in the kit and then I'll attach that to a top folding card. This is the Scotch 3M foam tape. I go through a lot of this foam tape so I buy the big gigantic rolls and this is what's gonna make the pocket stick out from the card and the gift card is gonna fit exactly perfect inside when I cut that down just like this. Here I'm adding it to the front of the card. The dad's gonna go right there. I'm using some multimedia mat to attach the dad die cut to the front of the pocket because I know that this is a very strong adhesive, especially for a heavier die cut like this since I layered that up. So I'll just put that in and look at how that gift card fits right in the pocket. Oh, dad's gonna love that C's candy gift card. It's his favorite. <laughs> On the inside, I will stamp you're the best. And there is our Father's Day pocket gift card card. For my second card, I wanted to show you real quick how to do a jean pocket card. This one is going to be for my husband and I'll take the Distress Oxide ink in faded jeans, perfect color for this, and then I'll stamp it with the same Distress Oxide color right on top. You don't have to put this ink on perfectly when you sponge it on because when you stamp it with the, the denim stamp right over the top, it kind of looks like faded jeans. I mean, it's perfect, look at that. You get some good variation. It's been a while since I've used this Fisker stamp press, so I thought I'd give it a little love. And it made it really easy to just stamp those denim pieces on top. I did a second one as well so that I could stamp the pocket. And I'm using exactly the same color over and over here. So it is a completely denim pocket gift card. Card. <laughs> Say that fast three times. I'll use the die cut to cut that out with my die cutting machine and look at this denim card. Looks like a back pocket of jeans, doesn't it? So just to add a little more realism, I added some of these rivets. I'm using my crocodile to punch a hole and I'm using the small side. There are two different sizes. Does anyone remember this crocodile from back in the day? I haven't used it in a while but it sure does making attaching rivets very easy. So I attached both of them here using that tool and then I went ahead and put the card together exactly the same way as the other one. I attached it to the craft paper that was also in the kit and then to a top folding card. I hope you were inspired today to try some gift card pocket cards yourself. Thanks so much for watching. For more information, visit my blog. We'll see you next time.